back to my channel again it's AC Lawson channel so in today's video we are just going to discuss about this uh, money service that I've been using for months now I don't know if you already seen my video but I have a video about Trimitly about Pangea or Pangea and they actually work they worked well it's just that right now i found something that uh, has higher conversion uh, and has more options on how we, how i would like to do it okay when i first tried this uh i tried it at walmart and uh, because walmart they do have these uh, financial services they do have different uh different kinds of money remittance service so i tried this moneygram and before I tried it, actually, it took me a while to try this um, because I, I heard uh, some uh, bad reviews about MoneyGram saying that uh, the money is always delayed and uh, they, do ha these, they are so strict about uh, the identification, which I understand because, of course, it's, uh, we're talking about money, so uh, they're just avoiding fraud. And then one time I just tried to do it. I just I just uh, tried it because I checked when I first tried it. I asked how much the conversion rate first, and then I checked my uh, money app on the go uh, on my phone, and uh, money came as higher conversion rate. Everything on the uh, to those new to my channel, everything on this channel, I uh, I make a video because I already tried it. I'm not going to put anything here if I haven't tried it yet. Uh, the Remitly and Pangea are just the same. It's just that Pangea has higher conversion rate than Remitly. And then right now, I found this MoneyGram. And it works really well for me. It works well. Because at first, this is the one that has highest conversion rate so far that I tried. They do have lots of options uh, how you how you're going to pay the... Uh, the service you can actually do it online you can use debit card credit card and I believe that's it <laughs> okay so uh, so that and um, when I tried to do it in at Walmart it works well they receive the money right away and uh, I tried I think I tried this like three to four times uh, four times if I'm not mistaken and uh, the reason why I found this online thing, because in Walmart, their money services open at 8 o'clock in the morning. And if I would like to send the money like 7 o'clock, I'm not going to be able to do it. I have to wait for an hour before they could process it. That's why I tried to check it online and I found this. Just go to your browser, just enter moneygram.com and that's it. You have to create your account if you don't have an account yet. And if you already have an account, just log in. Okay. And it, it's good. And actually, MoneyGram, if you like first started doing this at Walmart, uh, Walmart uh, the Walmart services, or I mean, you can actually go to walmart.com and then financial services. You're going to see it there. So basically, MoneyGram is actually linked to uh, MoneyGram is linked to Walmart.com uh, app. But right now, what I'm doing is direct. I just put MoneyGram.com on my uh, browser, and voila. <laughs> All I need to do is log in since I already have an account. And your transaction history will be there, just like now on my page. I'll show you. Let me see here okay so right now on my page it's showing that my transaction history everything is here from the first time I tried the service at Walmart and it's also here so basically whenever I process it in store or I process it online the transaction the transaction history will be here and again uh, all you need to do log in and then do you have if you're gonna see this uh, website you're gonna see send money track and receive find a location pay bills they do have pay bills as well and help center if you do have questions or problem or whatnot yeah. so right now since I'm using the uh, computer or personal computer uh, there's a live chat 
button here if you have questions or if you have problem for using the service okay so i'm not gonna do that so let's just try to do the send money here so send money for cash pickup to mobile wallets or to bank accounts start sending now okay uh, i put philippines as my receiver country since i always send money to the philippines let's just try this okay i'm not gonna continue i'm not gonna complete the transaction because i don't have plan of sending money right now okay because i just sent money a few days ago <laughs> so uh, let's try let's try to put a hundred dollars and then hit estimate fees if you would like to check first the conversion rate right now it says 54.78 as of august 2nd at 5 a.m okay that is the conversion for moneygram and uh in pangea right now is 54.14 so a few cents difference okay if you don't care about the conversion it's fine i'm just telling you this is what i'm using right now um, this is what i use um, and again uh since moneygram is 54.78 and uh pangea is 54.14 and i know for sure remitly is lower than 54.14 Okay, I'm just telling you, okay? I'm not saying uh, Remitly is bad. I'm not saying uh, Pangea is bad. Uh, I'm just telling you the conversion rate right now. I'm just comparing it. And um, actually, I tried Zoom before one time, long time ago. I tried it once, and since the Zoom is actually Zoom or Zoom, whatever, however you uh, say it, um since the company is actually from uk my bank declined the the, the withdrawal okay because uh i don't know for some reason they don't like to process anything if it is going or if the service is from uk maybe uh they always experience fraud if anybody you using or sending money or whatever service that came from uk I don't know but uh, that is just my experience I'm just sharing it to you so since then I never use zoom so I really don't know the conversion rate uh, right now uh, if you're going to use zoom okay those are the money services that I've been using okay I haven't tried RIA yet but uh, so far I, I don't have plan of using it because as of this moment I am really satisfied with moneygram.com because when it comes to payment option if you would like to use a credit card okay uh, you can actually use debit uh, credit card if you would like to use debit card you can use that as well online bank account it, it's gonna work as well and if you don't have cards you just want to pay cash you uh, there will be instructions on how are you going to do it so basically they're going to send you to a store location that offers moneygram service so in my place right here in our place uh for sure this one will direct you to walmart because that is the closest store where you could use the service if you would like to pay cash and right now it says here uh if you would like to use credit card direct to bank uh that's gonna be uh six dollars and 49 cents that is uh if you're going to send a hundred dollar okay because uh the price change if you would like because i believe a credit card if you're gonna use credit card um it's like there's a percentage for fee i don't know exactly how much but right now for a hundred dollar it's six dollars and 49 cents direct to bank and if you would like to use debit card the fee would be a dollar a dollar 99 cents for a direct to bank account online bank is zero transfer fee the thing is if you're going to use online bank you don't want to pay a transaction fee or transfer fee direct to the bank it will take few days before they will be able to receive it 
okay so far right now it's august 2nd it says here money available if you're going to use online bank account um they're gonna receive it on august 10. so it says here money available by wednesday august 10 and it's just the second so basically it's gonna take like a, a, a week before they will be able to receive the money so i don't actually use this because what if the money is for emergency so it, it's gonna take for a week ah that's not gonna work <laughs> okay and then cash at location direct to bank uh it's good it says here that uh it will be delivered or it will be sent on august 3rd but for this as um in my experience uh cash uh hold on For cash pickup, if you're going to check the receive method, cash pickup, they said you're going to receive it on a certain date. Even they said tomorrow or even they say Monday. If it is cash pickup, GCash, and direct to bank and the debit card deposit, it will only take a few minutes. It's not really, or max is two hours, but it will not really take days before they will be able, or before the money will be available on the other end. No. And the other thing that um, if you would like to send money using debit card, I actually use always debit card because the fee is just $1.99 and always direct the bank. Because if it is cash pick up, the fee would be different. Okay. So the transfer fee will be based on how, how you would like them to receive the money and how are you going to pay it. Okay. <clears throat> for cash pickup for a hundred dollar uh, debit card is four dollars and 99 cents that's the fee so that's why i always use direct to bank because it is just a dollar 99 cents and um if you would like to send uh to debit card deposit if that is the receive method that you would like to use they can only or the the money will be deposited to a debit card if it is a visa card it's not gonna work if they do have mastercard i actually tried this uh one time um the money who owned the debit card has mastercard and i tried to send it it, it didn't work it says there's a there's a like uh, there's information at the bottom line saying that uh, it has to be visa before they can process the uh, the request or I mean before they can process sending the money okay so that's just an information okay uh, because I tried it and that's how it works and the thing I love right now is actually sending money to Gcash okay if it is just a small amount like a hundred dollar um gcash is or i mean if it is like just a small amount of money like ten dollars something ten dollars ten dollars twenty dollars gcash will be uh good because the transfer fee at first is just 99 cents and it seems it is just a small amount although if you're going to send it to gcash there will be difference uh, when it comes to conversion conversion rate if it is going to, if you're going to send it to mobile wallet will be 54.23 instead of 54.67 if it is direct to bank account after all they're gonna receive it in uh, I believe in just few minutes same day okay so it's up to you how you would like uh, them to receive the money but that's how i use it uh like uh, again if i have friend that needed like just little amount of money i use gcash but uh if i have if uh if i have relatives or i mean my family back home need a big amount of money i just use uh direct to bank account okay 
so because for me that is safer uh, that uh, because for me uh, that is safer and after all if it is big amount of money of course with higher conversion rate those small difference from sending to or from sending to Gcash to a bank account uh, it will add up so additional money that they're gonna receive after all your payment will be the same if you if uh, you're if you're looking for a certain amount of money two dollars okay so you know what I mean uh, like for example you will you're in, you intend to send money for a thousand dollars to the Philippines okay and if it is like a direct bank account so the conversion rate would be 54.67 so uh, that's gonna be fifty four thousand and six hundred seventy dollars uh, 600 154,670 pesos right but if you're going to send it to gcash that will only be 54 54,023 something so basically there's 400 dollar uh, 400 pesos difference so uh it will uh, i prefer to use uh direct to bank account because they're gonna receive more money okay so that's it so again it depends how you would like to use the money ground how you would like them to receive the money and how you would like to process the payment so there are different options here unlike uh, the other remittance uh, service that I tried uh, before they can only accept credit card or debit card and of course there's higher fee when it comes to credit card same thing here higher fee when it comes to credit card and then uh, low fee if it is debit card and also they do have option zero transfer fee but then again it's the same thing it will take like a week before they will be able to receive the money so if if the if they don't need uh if you would like to see the transfer fee it's up to you and the only thing is the only thing is um and uh pangea or immediately they do have a referral friend program wherein it depends on their promotion sometimes the referral fee would be like twenty dollars thirty dollars but here in in uh, moneygram no they don't have that big referral fee it's just a few cents so if you will so uh it will just be deducted into your like uh transfer fee the next on the next transaction so it, it's not that much but it helps so if you would like to do the referral thing it's fine but if not it's it's fine as well it's up to you though so that's how, that's why i like this moneygram compared to the other services again because of the Payment method, I have different kinds of payment method and they have different kinds of uh, receive method. So uh, that's a good thing for me. I can pick whether direct to bank account, uh, debit card deposit, Gcash or cash pickup. And Gcash is the one I enjoyed recently. Okay, <laughs> because sending a small amount of money to friends, you know but uh, I don't send money all the time <laughs> okay so uh, if you would like to find more about moneygram all you do all you need to do again go to moneygram.com uh, all the informations will be on the website make sure that you log in to moneygram.com okay make sure the the website is real okay I don't know if you type in different thing you will be routed to a different website so just beware and uh, so just check it just make sure that you're on the right website so again thank you so much guys thank you for watching I uh, hope you enjoy this video if you have questions suggestions uh, leave a comment down below I will try to answer your question and see you again on my next video bye